Hi everyone, I'm at this really pretty little creek high up in the mountains that I've never fished before. No idea if there are fish in here, no idea what kind of fish are in here. It looks pretty good though. And I'm gonna be fishing with this beautiful little, and I mean little, rod here. This can easily fit in your pocket. This is the Nissan Pocket Mini V3. This is the 300 centimeter or about 10 foot version of this rod. I'm gonna put a, I think a nine foot line on it. I don't have any 10 foot lines. I'm gonna put a nine foot line on it and we'll get to fishing. All right, first cast. Oh, fish on, it's a brook trout. I saw the green and orange and my, I couldn't get my net out in time. Awesome, okay. We have fish. That's always the first, you know, the first thing, the first question. As you might expect, it's just an extremely light, just a very delicate feeling little rod. Feels great. Requires very little effort to cast. And I'm trying to not get my feet wet, by the way, because I have several miles of hiking to get out of here. I don't want to hike in wet shoes if I can avoid it. Oh! Okay, the fish got off, but I think I've got him cornered. He's stuck in this, this little pool here. It's a, it's a brook trout, like I thought. There we go, little brook trout. Very nice, five or six inches. See ya, buddy. Awesome. You know, there was one little pool below me I forgot about. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Fish that one from above. Fish on. Yep, it's a brook trout. Fat little guy. See ya, buddy. This rod would be perfect for backpacking. I mean, it's so small and light. Compact, doesn't take up much room. Guess we might as well fish this area, this area again. This area is already fished. You never know. Oh yeah, got one. Like I said, you never know. Come on. There he is. That was a cluster. Okay, so this stream has a lot of brook trout in it. Like I already pulled a fish out of here. That's crazy. Beautiful little fish. This is just another beautiful creek. Look at that over there. What a spot. It's a fish mansion right there. There are trees all behind me, so I gotta be careful here. I'll eat my GoPro if I don't catch a fish in here or hook into one, and I just did, so the GoPro is safe. There we go. Oh! Might have been the same one. Oh! That was just a reflex. I just reflexively cast. Fly is gone. Bummer. Okay, let's try on a new one. Okay, got a new fly on here. It's a size 12 parachute Adams. I'm out of Kabari in my fly box. Nothing on the first pass through. Oh, there we go. Oh, a fish. I saw the fish come get it. Got him. Oh, came off. Darn it. I'm not having good luck in this pool. 
Oh, got him, yes! Finally. I mean, these are good sized brook trout for a tiny little creek like this. This is awesome. Okay, fly is out. See ya, buddy. This is a great little rod. I'm really enjoying this. Again, as long as I don't break it, I think I'll be happy. This looks perfect. There we go. Let's fish on. I saw the take. We got him. I've been catching a lot of brook trout lately in these little creeks. All right, fly came out already. See you, buddy. Got one. Yeah, I saw some movement. Awesome. There's another primo looking spot and another fish. Oh, I missed him. There he goes. Gently place the rod down ever so gently. Oh, flies out. Very nice. Solid little fish for this creek. So when people talk about really small rods, really tiny Tinkara rods, they can either re be referring to it being tiny when it's extended or tiny when it's collapsed. This is a pretty darn good length. 10 feet, that's more than enough for this creek. I think this is probably the best rod I've used that packs up small. It's just a great little compact rod. This is the best pocket rod I've used. It casts well normally. It, it bow and arrow casts well. Oh, I had a fish. I was already looking at the next spot that I was gonna cast to. I took my eye off the prize, took my eye off the ball. Let's try the far side over here. Yep, there's a fish, got him. I saw that white parachute, the white little tuft just disappear. All brook trout so far. This is one of the more enjoyable creeks I've fished recently. I mean, I've had a lot of good luck fishing a lot of good new creeks. This one's one of my favorites. It's, I mean, it, it's perfect. I love it. Fish on. Too easy. This is the best looking pool yet. Yep, oh, I saw a fish. I thought he went for it, but he didn't. Fish on. Whoa, I fell in a hole. My foot is in the water. The fish is still on. Oh, come on, okay. Oh, that was not pretty. Ah, it's a little bit painful, but at least I didn't break the rod, right? And I landed the fish and my foot is gross. Okay, let's settle down here. Let's breathe. Okay. That was dramatic. Unintentionally so.
Fish on. Oh, that was a pretty good one. There we go. Got him. That's one of the nicer ones for sure. And it's not long, but it's powerful little fish. Chunky. Really nice looking spot between that big rock and that slightly less big rock. Pretty calm between a couple of currents. Below big rocks and above big rocks are always worth fishing like that. And when you see a spot that is both above and below a big rock, I mean, come on. Got him. I saw him. Saw him come out from under the rock. Or at least under the shadow over there. Oh, fly's already out. Nice, that's like a seven incher. Okay, I think this is gonna be the last spot I fish, or at least last couple spots. I, I would like to catch one more fish. This is a good looking spot. Got, oh, I thought I had him. Fish definitely went for it. Oh, strike two. Oh, strike three. I was pulsing it that time. He came back for it. Let's pulse it again. Nope. And he just went for it again, but he didn't have it in his mouth. He went up and inspected it. Oh, it's been like, what is this, like six times? Seven times? Like, I'm seeing the fish. I can see what it's doing. It's going up to the fly. I keep thinking it has it in its mouth. Oh. This is a sad thing to see. Oh, finally! Yes! Was that like ninth times the charm? Oh, there's a lot of work to get you. See ya. Okay. I'm gonna fish this, that, and that, and then I'm gonna call it. Get the net ready. Yep. If we can land him, this will be the last, last fish of the day. There we go. Let's get on firmer footing over here. Okay. Well guys, this was just a fantastic little creek, a dynamite little creek. And there's our final brook trout. You know what? I just realized that was brook trout number 19. Oh, let's see if I can get a 20 here or there. Just one more, I promise. Yep. Got him. All right. <laughs> so we're ending today with 20 fish. All brook trout, all pretty small, but you know, it's a small creek, so of course the fish are going to be small. That was so much fun, and what a cool little rod. I loved this rod. And it was one of you guys who sent this to me, so thank you so much for that. Awesome, awesome little rod. Had a lot of fun with it. And like I said, I think this is the best small... I mean, look how small this thing is. It's tiny. I love it. It's going to cost you a little bit. They're, they're pricey little rods, uh, but they do come in various lengths if you can find them in stock somewhere. Uh, just Google it, and if I can find them for sale somewhere, I'll put the links down below. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next one.
Be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out my flytyingyarn.com store if you're looking for yarn for your fly tying needs. And then finally, I have another YouTube channel called SUV RVing that covers all of my non-fishing adventures. If you want to check that out, links to all of those things and more will be in the video description.